G'day there, I just thought I'd post a um, short video about my batch heater that I built. Here's the ambient temperature at the moment, just under 22 degrees Celsius. And we'll just swing over here, and there's the box. That contains my batch heater. Basically a large box with a um, selective solar glazing that I recycled from a an old burst solar flat plate collector and you can't really see through it but inside that is a 250 litre hot water cylinder We've got the inlet here cold water straight off the mains down in here it's what we call a duo valve it's um, very important that any water that's not heated to 60 degrees Celsius is protected from flying backwards into the drinking water supply. Dual valve comprises an isolation valve. That's it there. And inside there's a check valve so that no water can flow backwards. Because the batch heater doesn't always heat to um, 60 or higher degrees, there's the potential for bacteria to grow in, in the water that's contained inside the 250 litre tank. Over here we have the outlet, it's simply piped across along the house there and that's where it ducks inside to my inside water heater. So what's happening is we're taking the mains cold water from down here, we're taking it through the batch heater in the large box over here it's heated by the sun and then fed straight in to my inside water heater I've just put a little valve and an outlet here so that I can measure the temperature so we'll just do that now alrighty here we go, I don't know if you can see that there, not a bad angle so it's still early in the morning, but we've had a, an hour or two of sun on the heater and with outlet temperature 29.3 degrees Celsius and again we'll take a look at that ambient temperature just under 22 degrees. So we'll have another look at that this afternoon and uh, give you an idea of what it does during the day. The aspect of the batch heater it faces near enough northwest, um, just because of space constraints along the side of the house here. The house here and the chimney. We couldn't get a full duration of sunlight, but the sun rises out over there and tracks across to there. So, of a full arc, we're getting probably two thirds of the available sunlight in a day on the collector panel uh, generally from sunrise until about uh, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon so we'll take another look at the temperature then oh no, well as promised we'll check the temperature the ambient's just under 24 it's uh, getting on in the afternoon we've had about 5 hours of sunlight on the batch heater since we last checked the temperature so we'll have a little look here As you can see, it's, um, it works fairly well. There's been no other draw off of water from the tank since we last checked it. So it's essentially a static test. It's getting a bit too hot to touch that pipe. That's not too bad for five hours of sunlight. So there you go. Let's turn that off. So the tank inside is um, a mains pressure steel cylinder, glass lined. I painted it black with some stove, uh, like pot belly stove, black paint. And I made a cradle out of uh, treated pine. You can sort of see it there. And the thing's sitting up off the ground uh, to, to keep it dry and also 
I can put a, an additional panel on it as an auxiliary thermosiphon on the front here. When, um, when winter time comes around we should be able to continue to get some decent work out of it. The shadow is just starting to come across it now. You can see the, the edge of the shadow there just starting to creep across. That's the, the chimney that shadows it. The other things that I did that are worth mentioning both that tank and the one inside have sacrificial anodes. Oh, there we go. That's what remains of the sacrificial anode out of the batch heater 250 litre tank in the box over here. So we took that out, we put a brand new anode in to protect the tank from corrosion. And this one here. This is a sacrificial anode from the tank inside. So it had maybe a little bit more life in it, but it was wise to replace it um, at the same time. So I went ahead and did that. Because it's a mains pressure system, there are two temperature and pressure relief valves on the system. This, this outlet here. There's 1000 kPa temperature pressure relief valve on the tank inside the box. Uh, water pressure here is about 500 kPa. So that'll relieve if the temperature exceeds 99 degrees or um, 1000 kPa of pressure. Then we'll go inside. So this is the inside water heater. The old galf pipe there is where the cold water used to connect. And the half inch copper coming through the wall is the new connection. This tank is fitted with a 1400 kPa pressure and temperature relief valve. So it says dual safety. I'm actually a bit concerned that the batch heater might boil uh, come summer. Alright, uh, well as you can see it's late afternoon now. The thing's practically fully in the shade. So we'll do one last temperature reading. This is probably important to note. This thing tends to bake in the box. The insulation that I stacked around it plays a big part in how much heat it retains. And this is a good illustration of that. Just get this going. Take it easy on the valve there. And again, we're just waiting for a bit of water to run through. The water in the line, even though the line's insulated, does cool off. The water in the tank uh, tends to hold its temperature fairly well until it's drawn into the inside tank for use. Again, we haven't drawn any water off today, so that we can give you some fairly accurate reading. There we go, so that's made a couple more degrees since last time we checked it. Turn that off and the ambient she's sitting on about 22 degrees now. The temperature of the water going in from the cold water pipe this time of year is about 18 degrees Celsius. So all in all that's not too shabby. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.